Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well and thank you for joining me. I am here just to do a quick update and maybe a little crafting with you tonight. So I've been working on this journal. Uh, I showed you the cover and the kits last night. And it's uh, Shabby Debbie Doodah, my design team project for Shabby Debbie Doodah. She designed those kits and they're really beautiful. So. So far, I've got three signatures. I just wanted to show you. Here they are, and I've used some eyelet trim. I've used some wedding lace here on pockets. I glued down this little lady on this music book page. I've rounded all the corners and distressed every single edge of every single page. <laughs> I've got some pom-pom trim here in this one, this page right here. And so I've used, besides the uh, kit pages, I've used pa papers like music. Uh, let's see, here's another music, a smaller page. Uh, this is, let's see, that's, that's a page for the kit. This is one of the invoices here, it's really pretty as a page. And then uh, I have used some of my red dyed paper, it went so well with these colors the reds and burgundies and the flowers and the roses. So this is a burgundy writ dye and this page is a composition book page. So I've got fold over there, a fold out. And then I've also used, let's see, some coffee dyed paper, my own coffee dyed paper here. And that's what I've got so far. So, I mean, if, if you can look at the side here, you can see that it's pretty full. I actually, oh, I actually added um, at the last, the last page I added was a piece of onion skin here. I don't, I forget to use my onion skin, and so I thought it would look so pretty in here with these pretty uh, pictures and roses and flowers and things, and you can see through it. See how I put it here on purpose because you can see through and see that pretty paper uh, right through it, and also if you when you fold it over this way. You can see the burgundy of the writ dyed paper. So that's where I'm at with the journal and the pages. I have not sewn them in yet, as you could see. And I'm working on ephemera tonight. What I've done so far is I cut up a time card into four pieces and just used some pieces from the kits. Um, you know, I used about five or six kits here, so I'm going to say kits. But uh, this is from the birdhouse kit where. I, you know, I cut out all the birdhouses, and the, this says Home Tweet Home. I used a scrap piece of that eyelet that I used in the journals. There's a coffee dyed doily back here. This is a piece of the receipt, and it actually came in really neat uh, and handy as a layering piece. So that is there. It's distressed around the edges, and I just tore it to fit right there. Birdhouse and a bird. And then uh, these, that's, a, I'm calling this a journaling card. Distressed around all the edges, front and back. I used three different little pieces of like fabric scraps, and this is some yarn, all kind of matching the colors here in this journal, and some pieces from the birdhouse kit, uh, home tweet home. This little number was in there, and there's a little bird. On all of them, I used a piece of that same one, one uh, invoice for all of these. I. I cut it up or tore it up into four pieces I was like I'm going to need more invoices and I just used one so I was pretty amazed at that and one four inch doily too <laughs> coffee dye doily so yeah that those two are you know done this one has you know the same background with the birdhouse and a bird and this one has again the same type of stuff this one says feed the birdies so those are ready to go in the pocket and I also got the get, you know, I showed you the envelope. It was unfolded the other night where I just cut it out. I distressed around to make it look, I didn't want it look to really look like it was just cut out. So I distressed around, distressed around the edges. So it might start looking like an old envelope that's been around for a while. Piece of trim here. This says home tweet home. One of the little like labels from the kit. This is a piece, another piece of an invoice in back of this bird here. And I just wanted to look like a little postage stamp over there. So I just tore that out and put this flying bird on there so it looked like a little postage stamp. And I see I need a little bit of glue under this wing right here. 
And I've got some glue on my fingers because I've been just sitting here crafting for a little while now. And I just wanted to share what I've done, you know, a little bit of the process and what I'm doing. I just need a little, like barely a little dot of glue to make sure that uh, little wing there doesn't get torn off or something. I want to make sure it's nice and flat. Although this will probably be clipped. Well, I guess I could put this in a pocket. Or it could be clipped on a page, you know, paper clipped on a page. So let me see if that's down now. I'm happy with that. <laughs> it almost needs a little bit of a layer because it's so tiny. That wing right there. And it's not glued down onto the invoice paper. It's on the envelope, so it's going over the edge there and onto the envelope. So I want it to... So I put some glue on top of it now, so it'll be nice and glued down. Yeah, that's, that is better. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. <laughs> I think I'm happy with that. So I thought I'd do a guest check. And I won't do this on video, but I thought I would put some of these. See, these I printed these out on like bond paper, these little invoices. And I have a bunch of the little ones here. See, I have all of these too. I just printed this out one time. But I have all of these to use, so I thought... I might, you know, I use some in the layering, and then I thought I might glue some down to, this is kind of, uh, this is, I've showed this in one of my thrifty videos where I brought this home, and it was a resume kit where it had uh, envelopes and, what else did it have in it? Envelopes and, it wasn't paper, it was, it wasn't the paper that you print out your resume on, it was the other parts, like an envelope and a folder, that's what it was. And so I cut those up and made them into like papers I could use. Like this is was a piece of uh, the envelope. And so I could print on here if I wanted to. It's just beige, nice thick beige paper. Or I thought I might glue some of these. Some of these. Um, my computer just made a really loud noise. If you heard that, it scared me in the other room. It must be restarting or something. Uh, but... Anyway, I um, thought I'd glue some of these down and make them into like a little bit stronger of a piece so I can make some journaling cards out of these little pieces to stress around or around the corners or whatever. But I'll do that off camera, but just to show you what I might be doing with these. And I can always add a little piece of lace or something, fabric, uh, onto these on the side or something. We'll see what I do with those. But right now I want to decorate this guest check. So I'm just going to pull out some things that I have here that I kind of wanted to, I pulled out some things that are the colors of this journal, you know, like I have some upholstery fabric here that, isn't this pretty? I showed this in one of my thrifty videos. I had picked up a bunch of this at Goodwill way before the, the quarantine. <laughs> so um, I've had it for a while. I don't know if I've used any of it, but isn't it beautiful? So I thought I would like to, see, I don't want to cut I want to use these as journal covers, most of these upholstery pieces, but um, I think I have plenty here to use for a journal cover, and then I could cut a little bit off to cut, to uh, use in this journal, and so I just thought I would, I have my, let's see, where are they, I think I just covered them up, I have my pinking shears here, my fabric ones, I kind of wanted just to cut a piece off of here. Look at this pretty butterfly. That'd be pretty. I might have to cut up one of these, <laughs> not use it as a journal cover, but because that would be really cute to cut out that butterfly and it would match this journal, wouldn't it? Ah, that is so pretty. I could even put him on. So you never know what's going to happen when you're working on it, on stuff. And you just, I like I said, I just pulled stuff out that would match. But I love this butterfly right here. Oh my goodness. He is so pretty, and the colors are just perfect. I have to use him right now. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know I had to use him, but now I do. Because I just discovered him. I didn't even know he was here. Wow, so cool. Okay. So I'm going to make this a quick video. My, my phone's been doing weird things. It's like, why can't your phone just work like it works, you know? Like it's been working really great. Since I got it, making videos as long as I want, and now all of a sudden, and I cleared out my memory and made sure I had plenty of room, but all of a sudden it wants to make short videos. So I'm like, okay, well, let me make a short video then. 
till I figure out what's going on. Maybe I need to get a card, SIM card or something. But uh, until I do that, I'm just going to make a quick video tonight. I'm going to put my pin back in here. Okay, so isn't he beautiful? So let me uh, just cut around him a little bit as far as get him cut out so he's ready to use. I didn't know I was going to use him or I would have cut him out ahead of time. <laughs> I did not, literally, I really did not know he was there. I just pulled it out because I saw the flowers, you know. But now I've discovered Mr. Butterfly, so we have to use him right now. So I'm just kind of cutting close to him, but not right next, you know, we're not right on his wings or whatever. Those weird noises. I hear my computer restarting in the other room. I don't know. It's all my electronics seem to be doing weird things here at my house. <laughs> like I have, I know I have it set to restart. Usually it asks me, like, when do you want to restart? And I'll say like 3 a.m. so it doesn't, bot, you know, interrupt anything I'm trying to do on my computer during the day. And I hear it in there, restarting on its own. Like, I don't know why it's just decided to do its own thing in there. But it has. <laughs> so, won't that look pretty there? So, let us do a little, because this looks way too new. I have coffee dyed guest checks, but for some reason I decided not to use coffee dyed things tonight. I mean, it's like too easy, almost too easy <laughs> to use coffee dyed things sometimes, you know, like I want more of a challenge to make it look old, you know, sometimes. I want to take a brand new thing and make it look old. So that's what I'm going to do with this. And hopefully we can get through this before my phone cuts off. If it does, I'm not doing this video over. I'll just uh, put a little note here at the video on the video and say, hmm, my phone cut off, sorry, <laughs> type of thing. Okay, so I think I would like to put a little receipt behind here. And I was looking at, let's see, where are the blue ones? I have some blue ones here. I have a bunch of receipts here that I've been working with tonight. Or not receipts. They are invoices. Here they are. I'll put them over to the side. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Let me see if he would look good on one of these. One of these blue ones. I don't want to cover. Oh, here's one that's solid. That would look cool. Yeah, see? There we go. Anything else that I want to layer on here? Uh, I don't think so. I've got a piece, this is from the fabric, and this is, but I need to distress this, unless I want to tear something. Let me see, you know what would be cool? Hold, it, hold the phone. <laughs> One of these, um, these black and white pieces that I printed out by mistake, but torn, that would look really cool on here. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do instead, because this looks too, I don't know, just too square. I mean, I could rip it, or I could um, just dress around it, but I just want to just use some rip pieces here. See, that looks a lot better, right? I think so. And he will look beautiful on there. He'll stand out more. Okay. So, just a quick little guess check here. And I've been using this eyeshadow brush, as you probably have seen. And I've really noticed how easy and quick it is to distress with this. Like I just take a little swipe off my off my ink pad. And then like pretty much one, you know, I'm not trying to be real neat at it. I just want it to look old. So there we go. And now let's see if we can get it glued down here real quick. So I'm going to have, let's see, this will be two layers, the paper, and I want to do at least three layers. We'll see if we can do five, but at least two, three. Okay, I want my edges to be down good, so let me get my edges. 
and especially that little tip right there. Okay, so here we go. I want my, I think I want this red number to show, so I'm going to put this up a little bit. I like that little red number at the bottom there on the guest checks. And there's a red number up there too, you know. Okay, that looks beautiful. Now, Mr. Butterfly, what do you want me to glue you down with? Oh, he's got a little eye and everything. So cute. <laughs> okay, I think you want to be about right there. And I think I'm going to use art glitter glue because I think, I mean, I think Fabri-Tac would be fine too, but I'm going to try the art glitter glue because I think maybe I can get them glued down flatter and faster <laughs> with the art glitter glue. I think I need to make my hole that I made in my Fabri-Tac a little bigger because I've got it so small that, whoa, come back here, that it's hard to get my Fabri-Tac. I have to squeeze really hard. And it takes forever to get it, you know. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. This is just flowing better tonight. So let's just use this. I got a lot on there, so he should have no problem being glued down. Let me get everything going in the right direction here. At the right angle. Something like this. I want him partially on that paper and partially on the guest check. Let me get that glue off there. Okay. Wow. Okay. See, it's nice and flat now. All those edges are glued down, partially on the guest check. Isn't that cute? And this can be written on the back. Oh, I think we need to... Actually, I don't think I distressed the back, but some of the distressing is showing up back here. Did I distress back here? I don't know, but... There we go. Okay, so we've got the back and front distress. We've got two pieces on so far. Let's see, do we want anything else on here? It looks good just like that. Uh, and I don't, know, I don't know if I want anything else on here. Maybe a piece of lace. That would be my third piece over here, possibly. See, I have a small piece here, didn't I? Let me see. Here's a little small piece I could put somewhere instead of having a big piece. And that would be my third layer. I want to cover up my red numbers, so let's put that like right there. Won't be covering up anything. And I want to cover up my butterfly, of course, so I think he has the only place I can put it as well. You know, I think it looks better up here. Okay. All right. I know I'm thinking a little bit too much about this, but <laughs> so I'm going to get it, get it right. I want it to look nice. Sometimes you got to think for a minute, right? Or a few seconds at least. Okay. I'm just using my art glitter glue tonight, I guess. Okay. Should do the trick. I don't want it right on the edge because I want it, I think it looks nice right here. I like that piece sticking out right there with the color, it kind of makes it show up more. I don't know if I'll put anything else, if I come up with anything else I could put on here, I will let you know. I don't see anything sitting on my table right now though. That I want to add. Let me put my little pin in there. Okay, so I think that's it. So I think I showed you everything. I showed you my signatures and I showed you all of my tags, my journaling cards and tags that I've done tonight. These four, this, and then I'm going to work on making some of these little cards. I think these little pieces would be great little journaling cards. So that's my next project, and I'll come back and show you how I'm doing. So thanks for watching tonight, and happy crafting. See you all next time.